Alright, all you uh, retro interested people and interesting people, I um, I was supposed to be teaching today, uh, I thought so, I'm a substitute teacher, but they did not call today, this morning, so I was up at 6 o'clock. So what better uh, thing to do than to, uh, to try and make a video showing, teaching you how I live, well anyway, just to show you how I live where uh, I keep my systems and stuff. I have not really cleaned. I mean, I was up at 6 o'clock, but uh, I felt like I was also a bit sick. So, uh, I'm just gonna hang out with you now. Uh, see what I got here, okay? Uh, by the way, I am currently single, so that's why I decided to <laughs> talk a lot of the systems away or, you know, just to, you know, not to so I won't scare anyone away if they um, enter my my crib. <laughs> but let's just see. Uh, okay, I'll start with my living room. I live. I'm. St I am still a student, even though I teach. I'm still a student. I am. I'm starting to become a teacher. So yeah, and I've got cats. You will probably see them. They too. But sometimes you would think I have more than than two. Anyway, this is. Um, let's just take a look. All right. Okay, this is where I, I I sat, okay? This is where I recorded from. Let's just take a quick look at what I have over here. These are uh, Amiga format, uh, the Amiga magazines. I got the CDs for just about all of them, I think. For Amiga, it's, uh, well, that, that won't. It's just, they're really good to, really fun to look through and the toilet is just, uh, in that direction, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, first of all, of course, just to, this is how it's, okay. Uh, first of all, my uh, NES, 8-bit, yeah. Um, oh, the light isn't that good over here, I see. Well, at least not on the display. I recently got this one, and I'm also doing a pickup video on it, but it's my uh, Thai Lynx. Really nice system. In here, I have, um, for my uh, Japanese NES games, just a crappy, you know, often called Terminator console. My, uh, my, oh, fuck the lights, my uh, Amiga CD32, uh, a Thai uh, 7800. <laughs> uh, and down here I have a PlayStation 1. Uh, I got it for free if I just went and picked it up myself, so naturally I did. It's, uh, it's a chipped system, so I can play a carpet game if I want to. Um, well, the Atai uh, 2600. Um, hmm, I see it's got a bit of a scratch. Might, might be from the cats. It's, uh, I got it as a, like a completely new system. <laughs> um, let's see. And here I have a... a, a Mega Drive 2, and here I have some of my Game & Watch and uh, Game Boy Advanced SP, and one of my favorite LCD play games, some extra batteries in, stuck in there. Let's see, <laughs> I will try and make it a short video. Here I have, well, just some vinyls and also some uh, laser discs, you know, uh, all sorts of laser discs. Um, See what I have in this box. Ah, oh, fucking now. I'm, I'm going to go into that. In this box, I have some Atai uh, 7800 in this one, and in this one, I have let's just see. Uh, well, some random PlayStation games, and you know, all sorts of extra stuff. These are uh, copied PlayStation games that came with the chipped uh, uh, PlayStation. I, I don't have any need for <laughs> copying game. Like these days, yeah. My cat <laughs> is it? Come, 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 come. Uh, in here, you see some uh, Nintendo uh, 64 games. These uh, used to be uh, rental games. It's quite common that I find these all over <laughs> the Danish internet. <laughs> and uh, well, I don't think they are really collectible that much, and but they work. So anyway, let's just go and see. Put into this section. Mm, over here, I have two caps. 
arcades. One of them, this one is going to be my, um, my, well actually that is supposed to be my main system in the end and this one, even though it's got a PC screen on it right now, is supposed to be my, uh, well, real arcade Jama Yama it's called in Danish. It's, uh, well, it's just a real arcade. <laughs> Uh, guitar, um, but let's just see underneath under, underneath here uh, stairs. I have I'm just gonna do it like this. This is my um, my Atai Falcon stuff. I got a lot of stuff for it. It's um, in Steinberg uh, Cubase music program and a lot of cables <laughs> uh, I got you know I got everything for it and it's, it's because I want to uh, let's just do it like this because I want to uh, do some music on it some MIDI music could be fun and then I just made this uh, I made this as well <laughs> yeah well I I'm not sure I have some systems in this one that I I think this is actually just my Amiga 500 box where I have a complete Amiga 500 and this is my cat <laughs> uh, and you know with er everything like joystick, cables, mouse, uh, everything. It's just nice to have it all uh, in one. Uh, let's just have a look at this one. Um, th this one is an interesting thing <laughs> for my cats. Uh, well, it's a, an army item I got for free, and I just gave the guy a few uh, bottles of wine for delivering it. It was very heavy, but let's see. Mega Drive number one, system one. These here, um, uh, what would you call it? Well, they're collected, so they, you know, just ready to go when I want to play them. My GameCube, Super Nintendo. And down here I have like, it's always nice to have, it's not called bundle, but still it's always nice to have some, some spare stuff. I keep them all in, in collected bags, so if I would need something extra for the NES 8-bit, I would have it in this bag. And over here is like extra, extra stuff. It's um, all sorts of, uh, and well, mostly adapters, and then I have my two. Uh, guns for the master system and for the NES. I like playing at Duck Hunt. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just gonna put it right back because otherwise this will. I live at a very small apartment, so. And over here I have my, most of the stuff I've actually gotten almost for free, like this TV uh, B&O, <laughs> because I um, I picked it up myself. <laughs> but let's have a quick close look before the battery runs out. <laughs> the TV of course, my uh, laser disc, uh, and this is the setup. Here I have uh, uh, Super Nintendo, some, uh, well Japanese or Asia anyway, uh, NES games. In here, this one, it's got my uh, Nintendo 64 and American STSC versions. Uh, well, Master System, Mega Drive, and this one I'll probably do a review on at one time. It's a really funny little system. A tie and uh, Commodore 64. I have some, my TV tuner and adapter for my Game Gear. It's just broke recently. Unfortunately, here I have uh, they all the way down in there Game Boy stuff uh, and my collection of I'm getting like stressed because of the battery and I, I collect now the uh, Game Gear uh, which is my only thing I collect uh, like unopened stuff right and here are games all right let's just have a look at this one um you know what it is you know game, Mega Drive. Master System, I have about 40 or 50 Master System games and stuff. Uh, down here is my uh, NES, like the NES, and my uh, PlayStation 1. That's why I say I don't really burn the CDs myself, because, you know, uh, it's much more fun to have the original stuff. And here I have my 
uh, Xbox. These games are so cheap these days, so I just I just get them while I can for a decent price. I just recently got this PlayStation 2, so I have some games for it here. And my GameCube, I really like the GameCube. And let's see, in here I have, if I want to watch TV up there and still play, I have this extra TV. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a strange thing. And of, of course my video pack, I also have a video pack plus. And let's see, over here I have my stereo and my Xbox. Um, my Xbox is also functioning as my uh, DVD player. All right. As you can tell, I am talking everything away right in, at this place. Uh, underneath the couch, um, well, just a second. I'll have something to look at while I'm getting it out. <laughs> okay. This is underneath the couch. Couch is kind of a draw. <laughs> this is the system I probably will do a review on. Uh, week 20, my uh, Commodore 64 is over there. I have uh, ZX81, my Amstrad is underneath. Uh, an American version, or maybe Japanese because it says Mega Drive on it. Uh, two, a defect PlayStation 2, only plays. Uh, PlayStation 1 games. Here I have some Game Boy stuff and some other stuff. And this one I would like to know more about. I just haven't gotten around to it just yet. It's uh, let's just have a look. It's kind of an add-on for the Super Nintendo. And also an add-on for my Mega Drive. This is my Video Pack Plus. Uh, 7400 it says. Uh, you don't really see that much here in Denmark. I had to get it from, I think it was Holland, Netherlands, or somewhere. This is just a box filled with Commodore stuff. You always, it's always good to have spare cables for that system. And you gotta have your Pong machine, right? This one. Let's have a look. This one. I know. You gotta have one of these. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Did I. Oh, I almost forgot. Um. And now I'm already making a mess out of the living room. Well, over here, beneath the Commodore 64, I have this, which was delivered with that uh, military thing. Oh my god, I can't hear my English, it sucks right now, but let's just open this treasure. It's been on a, on a ship at one time. Take this one out, and what do we have here? <laughs> we have, like, this is, like, I am... This is my hand beneath. <laughs> this is all Amstrad, uh, CPC, and Commodore 64 games. Like, mad. <laughs> um, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. I mean, they. This is a treasure for me. It takes ages to load these games, and not always working, but. Uh, this is actually working, little computer people. Games like these are just so much fun. You know, you can just keep it loading in the background and and play it whenever so why not go upstairs um, I am sure I have forgotten something here well for example let's just have a look at this one okay like here these are all uh, like extra um, uh, posters and, and extra cassettes and stuff, all right. Uh, yeah, I have stuff like that tucked away everywhere. Let's go upstairs. Ah, well, it's not that messy. Um, here is my uh, modified Amiga 600 with a hard disk flash drive in it. Working, it's not connected right now because I am. Well, we could actually just be putting a full screen, but I'm just running uh, uh, YouTube on that one. And over here are my laptop uh, and my cat. 
talking to other cats outside, I think. Uh, not, not anything special in there. Um, let's have a look here. These boxes are filled with, with uh, I think it is, let's just, why not just look at it. Well, yeah, here are some Amiga, you know, Amiga games. I really like Amiga. Let's just have a look at more. I also got some boxed Amiga 500, but I just, um, yeah, they just underneath the, the bed right now. But, uh, yeah, you get, you get the picture of Amiga games next to the bed. Um, what else do I have? I am surely going to miss out on showing you something. Uh, of course not flinging like this. This is my third cat. A small one, mini. And it's uh, it's cool. <laughs> and here I have... Uh, uh, let's just take a look from here. Okay. It's... Uh, let's just go from here. My MSX system up there, boxed, and my Commodore 64, a, sp a spare GameCube, some stuff in these, a lot of stuff, like I think these are Amiga CD games, uh, and from Amiga format, and here we have, you can have a look, oh yeah, uh, boxed 64 games. A lot of, of great books. I will probably do a, like a, a book uh, a video, but Amiga book and pro like about programming and stuff, and a lot of stuff down in there. <laughs> and these suitcases are also filled with stuff. I don't know. I mean, this video will already take too long, so. Mm. I'm I'm thinking that if you want like a closer look, just let me know, cause I can I can show you. I have a lot of stuff really, but yeah, it's just as soon as we start showing off, you see, this is how my living room ends up looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, I hope you enjoyed my uh, my f my flat <laughs> and my tour. Uh, of course I got a lot of more handheld tucked away, like I got almost just about all the Game Boys. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Let's just finish up with a picture of the screen.